He is known for his roles as a singer, organist, and chapel master in various cathedrals. He was recognized for his contributions to the music scene in Evora, Santiago de Guatemala, and Puebla. His name is Gaspar Fernandez. In the realm of music history, one name stands out, Gaspar Fernandez, a legendary figure whose contributions to the world of music are truly remarkable. Born in Portugal, Fernandez began his musical journey as a singer in the Cathedral of Evora. But it was in Santiago de Guatemala where his talent truly flourished. In 1599, he was hired as the cathedral's organist and organ tuner, showcasing his exceptional skills and passion for music. In 1606, Fernandez received a life-changing opportunity. The dignitaries of the Cathedral of Puebla, in Mexico, reached out to him, inviting him to become the successor of his late friend Pedro Bermudez as the chapel master. Recognizing his talent and expertise, they saw in Fernandez a worthy successor to carry on the musical legacy of the cathedral. With great excitement, Fernandez embarked on a new chapter in his musical career. He bid farewell to Santiago de Guatemala and arrived in Puebla in September 1606. From that moment on, he dedicated himself wholeheartedly to his role as chapel master, leaving an indelible mark on the musical landscape of Puebla. During his tenure in Puebla, Fernandez composed numerous significant works, including his famous Viancicos, which were religious songs sung during Christmas celebrations. These compositions showcased his mastery of polyphony and his ability to beautifully blend voices and instruments. His compositions not only enriched the liturgical music tradition but also became an integral part of Mexican musical heritage. Gaspar Fernandez's musical legacy continues to inspire musicians and music lovers alike. His profound contributions to the field of music, particularly in the genre of Viancicos, have left an indelible mark on the history of music. Through his compositions, Fernandez has immortalized himself as a true legend and pioneer, forever influencing the course of musical history. Gaspar Fernandez, a renowned composer of the 17th century, left a lasting impact on the world of music through his remarkable achievements. One of his most significant contributions was the compilation and binding of various choir books in 1602, which contained Roman Catholic liturgical polyphony. These manuscripts, still preserved in Guatemala, featured compositions by renowned Spanish composers such as Francisco Guerrero, Cristobal de Morales, and Pedro Bermudez. During his time at the Cathedral of Guatemala, Fernandez completed these books by composing a cycle of eight Benedictimus Domino, one in each of the eight ecclesiastical tones. He also added his own setting of the Magnificat in the fifth tone, Faux Borden Versicles, and a Vespers hymn for the Feast of the Guardian Angels. Hashtag paragraph underscore break hashtag as Fernandez served in Puebla, his focus shifted from composing Latin liturgical music to creating a substantial amount of vernacular viancicos for matins. This part of his musical output showcased a diverse range in the handling of texts. While most of the compositions were in Spanish, Fernandez also incorporated pseudo-African dialects, Amerindian languages, and even Portuguese into his works. One of his notable viancicos, titled Zicochi, stood out for its use of Nahuatl, the indigenous language of the Nahua people. Departing from the traditional counterpoint of the 16th century, Fernandez embraced the emerging Baroque style and sought to express the meaning of the texts through his musical compositions. The main collection of these viancicos can be found in the Oaxaca Codex, which has been extensively studied, edited, and published by scholars such as Robert Stevenson and Aurelio Teo. Hashtag paragraph underscore break hashtag Gaspar Fernandez's compositions not only showcased his exceptional musical talent but also highlighted his dedication to preserving and promoting diverse cultural influences. Through his meticulous compilation of choir books and his incorporation of various languages, Fernandez demonstrated his commitment to embracing and celebrating the rich musical heritage of different communities. His work stands as a testament to the power of music in bridging cultural divides and creating a harmonious blend of artistic expression. Fernandez's legacy as a composer continues to inspire and captivate audiences around the world, reminding us of the beauty and universality of music. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.